Mr. Whelan, can you explain in a way that leaves no doubt why you promoted Andrew Beck at your firm? And then, most importantly, why you eventually asked him to leave? If uh, you're the owner of a major league ball club, you recruit the hot rookie. And Andy was tremendously promising as a young attorney, fresh out of Penn, Cracker Jack. That's why we went after him. That's why we hired him. And that's why we stuck with him year after year. And why did you give him opportunity after opportunity? Well, when you groom someone the way we groomed Andy, nurturing him, lavishing all kinds of special treatment on him. You made quite an investment. We were waiting for the promise to kick in and deliver. But uh, ultimately, we could no longer ignore the gap between the reality and the promise. Thank you, Mr. Wheeler. No more questions at this time, Your Honor. Mr. Miller. Objection. Your Honor, objection. All right, Mr. Miller. That'll be sufficient. Mr. Wheeler, you are magnificent. You are, you are my hero. Andrew is right. You are the greatest. Are you gay? Objection. <laughs> How dare you? Witness will kindly answer. No, I am not a homosexual. Isn't it true that when you realized Andrew Beckett, your golden boy, your future senior partner, was gay and had AIDS, it drove a stake of fear right through your heterosexual heart? Remembering all the hugs and the handshakes, the intimate moments in the sauna, the friendly pats on the backside that you and Andrew exchanged, ah! like guys exchange sometime, it made you say, my God, what does this say about me? Objection, Your Honor. The witness will please respond to the question. Mr. Miller, you may tap dance around me all you wish with your innuendos and locker room fantasies, but the truth still remains that your client worked when he wanted to work, telling us what he thought we needed to know about who he really was. Andy insisted on bending the rules, and his work suffered tremendously in the long run as a result of that. Well, you explain this to me like I'm a six-year-old, Mr. Wheeler, because I just don't get it. Who makes these rules that you're talking about, huh? You? Read your Bible, Mr. Miller. Old and the New Testament. Pretty valuable rules in there. Excuse me. Andrew? Excuse me. I can't see. Oh. Andy, Excuse me. Andy. Wait, say somebody get a doctor. Turn over now. Call an ambulance, please. Right away. Yes. Joe, Joe. Ambulance, please. Let him breathe. Let him breathe. 